Good morning everyone. Today we are going to learn about sound. The key concepts covered in the topic sound are terms related to a sound wave, loudness or intensity of a sound, pitch of a sound, quality of sound or timbre, music and noise. Musical instruments that is wind, stringed and percussion, monotone, units of loudness in decibels. We hear different types of sounds around us. Some of them are produced by living beings and some are produced by non-living things. But all these sounds we hear are different from one another. But what makes these sounds different from one another? We know that sound travels in the form of waves forming a series of compressions and rarefactions. Each sound we hear is a unique combination of three characteristics which are loudness or intensity, pitch and quality or timbre. Let us go through some of the terms related to sound first before proceeding to study about characteristics of sound in next slide. Terms related to a sound wave Amplitude The maximum displacement of a wave on either side of its mean position is known as its amplitude. Wavelength It is the distance between two consecutive compressions or rarefactions. This distance is the same as the distance between two successive crests or troughs. It is denoted by Greek letter lambda. Oscillation, one complete to and fro motion of an object or particle about its main position is known as one complete vibration cycle or one oscillation. Time period, time period of a wave is the time taken by it to complete one oscillation. It is let, denoted by letter T and is measured in seconds. Frequency, Frequency of a wave is the number of oscillations completed by it in one second. It is denoted by F and its unit is Hertz or HZ. Mathematically, F is equal to 1 by T. Loudness or intensity of a sound. Loudness is a characteristic of a sound which distinguishes a feeble sound from a loud one of the same frequency. It is the amount of sound energy received by a unit area per second. Loudness of a sound depends on its amplitude. Higher the amplitude, louder is the sound. As the amplitude of wave is directly related to the energy it carries, we can say the greater the energy carried by a wave, louder is the sound produced. Loudness of sound increases with an increase in area of vibrating body. Thus, a large drum will produce a louder sound than a small drum. Loudness of a sound also increases with decrease in distance between listener and the source. So, a sound of a same frequency heard at a small distance will be louder than when it is heard from a greater distance. Some other factors on which the loudness of sound depend are atmospheric temperature and pressure, velocity of wind and amount of moisture present in the air. Pitch of a sound The characteristic of a sound that differentiates a shrill sound from a hoarse sound is called pitch. The pitch of a sound depends on its frequency. A sound wave with a higher frequency have high pitch. Higher the pitch, shriller is the sound. A woman's voice has a higher pitch and is therefore shriller than man's voice. Similarly, the sound of a whistle has a higher pitch than that of a drum. But then what is the difference between pitch and frequency? You know that sound travels in the form of compressions and rarefactions. The number of rarefactions or compressions that pass a point in one second is termed as frequency of the sound wave. When a large number of compressions or rarefactions per second or sound of a greater frequency reaches your ears, it is perceived as high pitch by your ears. 
However, when less number of compressions or rarefactions per second or a sound wave of lower frequency reaches your ears, it is perceived as low pitch by your ears. Pitch is a sensation of frequency of sound wave on your ears. Quality of sound or timber. The quality of sound or timber distinguishes two nodes of the same pitch or frequency and loudness or amplitude produced by different bodies. Consider sound produced by two different musical instruments, for example, a bongo and a guitar with same pitch or frequency and loudness or amplitude. The two instruments will still produce quite distinct sounds. This happens because a sound wave also has a unique pattern of secondary waves called harmonics. No two musical instruments can have the same harmonics. This is why the quality of sounds produced by two instruments are always distinct. Music and Noise some sounds are pleasant to our ears, whereas some are unpleasant. For example, the sound of violin is pleasant, but sound of traffic is not. A sound that has a pleasing sensation on our ears is called music. Musical sounds such as that of guitar or a drum produce pleasing sounds due to regular vibrations. A sound unpleasant to our ears is called noise. Noise is produced by irregular vibrations. Sounds of traffic and voices of people in crowd are examples of noise. Differences between musical sound and noise. Musical sound has pleasing effect on ears. Noise has irritating and unpleasant effect on the ears. In musical sound, regular vibrations are produced in a material. In noise, irregular vibrations are produced in a material. Amplitude of vibration and frequency do not change suddenly in musical sound. Amplitude of vibration and frequency changes suddenly in noise. Waveform is regular in musical sound. Waveform is irregular in noise. Musical instruments Musical instruments can be grouped into three main types depending on what vibrates while playing that musical instrument. Air, strings or stretched membrane. Wind instruments. Sushir Vadhya. The flute, the shenai, the pungi, the snake charmer's flute, the saxophone, the clarinet, the French horn, the trumpet and the trombone are some wind instruments. These instruments produce sound by vibrating an air column inside the heart of the instruments. The pitch and frequency of wind instruments can be varied by changing the length of the vibrating air column. String instruments Tantuvadhya String instruments such as violin, guitar, sitar, Sarod, Veena and Cello produce sound when their strings are set into vibration by plucking, striking or by drawing a bow over these strings. These instruments have wooden frames which are partially hollow from within. These instruments have strings of different thickness so as to produce sounds of different pitch. Moreover, the player can also change the length of vibrating strings to produce different sounds. Percussion instruments Avanadhu Vadya Instruments such as drum, timpani, snare drum, tabla, dolak and rudangam produce sound by vibrating a stretched membrane. The membrane vibrates on being struck. Some instruments such as cymbals, xylophones, etc. produce sound by vibration of their whole bodies. Such instruments that produce on striking and shaking, scraping or rubbing are called percussion instruments. Percussion instruments are mainly classified into two groups, pitched and unpitched. Let's see some basic differences between pitched and unpitched. In pitched instruments, they are often used to produce more than one pitch. In unpitched instruments, 
sounds are produced with no definite pitch in pitched instruments the musical notes are produced in unpitched rhythms irrespective of songs harmony or melody are produced examples in pitched instruments are xylophones marimba tubular bells etc and examples of unpitched instruments are snare drums and cymbals reed instruments are those musical instruments that produce sound when air is blown over them examples are harmonium and mouth organ monotone you daily have conversations with your parents friends teachers and siblings you change the pitch volume rhythm and timbre and speed of your voice to express your meaning for instance you make your voice assertive while asking a question stress words to add emphasis pause to add suspense vary your voice to express different emotions however it could happen that while you give a speech your tone remains unvarying and you might end up saying everything in a flat tone a sound which never changes or goes up or down is called a monotone The Greek word for one tone is monotonia from which the words monotone and monotonous are derived which means dull and tedious A monotone sound never changes in pitch loudness timbre or in speed If a person speaks in a monotone his voice is flat and boring it would seem as if the person has no interest in the audience or in his speech Moreover he won't be able to communicate his message to the audience unit of loudness decibels the loudness or intensity of a sound is measured in decibels db human ears can pick up sound from 10 db to 180 db a sound between 50 db and 60 db is considered normal sounds up to 80 db can be tolerated sounds above 80 db can have harmful effects a sound of about 90 db and more causes many health issues some of the health issues are feeling of annoyance aggression anxiety and stress high blood pressure and heart problems headache feeling of fatigue and sleep disturbances reduced work efficiency loss of hearing In this slide we'll see decibel levels of common sounds. Threshold of hearing starts from 0 dB. Rustling of leaves 10 to 12 dB. Whisper 20 to 25 dB. Normal conversation 60 to 65 dB. Busy street traffic 70 to 75 dB. Vacuum cleaner 80 to 85 dB. large orchestra 90 to 98 db headphones at maximum volume 100 to 105 db jet aircraft 130 to 140 db